Hey everyone, today I'm going to be giving you a guide on how to beat the door 50 figure. He is by far the most difficult encounter in the whole game, uh, mainly because of the books. That's your primary issue with him. The first thing is, your hearing is the most important sense for this. His hearing is really good, but yours is too. You would not be able to avoid him if you couldn't hear him. Also, look at the goofy movements. You just want to avoid him as much as possible. Where is he going? I've never seen him do that. While you look for the books. So the first thing that I would recommend you do to beat the figure is get all the books on the bottom floor first. You don't have to be super thorough, but just try to make sure you get most of the ones down here first. The next thing you're gonna want to know is that you have to pick up this paper in order to complete this. But the issue is picking up this paper will attract him to your location. But there's a special way to remain safe while doing that. Just walk over to this corner and he will never track you down unless you make a sound. That's it, it's that simple. This corner is the perfect safe zone. There's another one on the upper floor uh, and this might get patched because I'm pretty sure this is unintended. Um... Okay, he, okay, it doesn't look like he uh, heard me pick up the paper. Um, the main thing you need to know is that if he gets too close, get in a locker, but you want to try to avoid him entirely as much as possible. There's a book. The other thing you need to know is that the more books you pick up, the faster he gets. So he isn't a static threat. Another thing you need to know is, uh, embarrassingly, I didn't know this myself, the books stick out of the wall. Uh, they don't just make a sound, they also stick out of the bookcase. It looks like we don't actually have a lot down here, which is perfect because upstairs is a lot safer. Um, there's just better places to hide. Now, this is probably one of the most dangerous corners is back here because there's no closet and there's no safe area. As you can see, he's starting to get faster. Well, you can't see that, but he is. You can hear those footsteps that are getting faster. Uh, the only item that can help you for this is the vitamins because of the speed boost, but no matter what you do, you cannot outrun him and you never will. All right, he's coming towards me, so I gotta do this. The heartbeat minigame is by far where you're likeliest to die, just because it's hard. That's the heartbeat minigame. Once you're done with the heartbeat minigame, leaving the, the cabinet makes sound, so you probably want to wait for him to get far away. As you can see, he's still right there. So we're gonna wait for him to move. And as far as I can tell, I believe that the um, the rest of the books are upstairs, but I'll do a quick check of the other places. So the main use you're gonna wanna get for vitamins is if you make a sound and you need to get out of there as fast as possible. So I think there aren't very many books down here this run. Uh, as you can see, he's coming downstairs again. He has a very specific uh, walk cycle that once you learn it, okay, there's a book. Good thing we didn't miss that. That once you learn it, he becomes a, a lot easier. We're going back to our safe zone to look to scout for more books. Gotta get in here because he somehow saw me and I don't know how. Had to use vitamins to do that. Just keep in mind, no matter what you do, you cannot outrun him. If you take vitamins, he will just get faster and keep chasing you. That killed me because I didn't know that was the case. Okay, it seems like we uh, we lost him. All right, we're gonna leave the cabinet and go back to our safe zone. Another thing, I'm not entirely confident about telling you this, but it is worth keeping in mind because it feels like it's the case. I'm pretty sure the more books you pick up, the larger his detection range gets. Where is he? There he is. I believe he is going upstairs. Yes, that is true. So as far as I can tell, that is all the books that we can get down here. Uh, and now we're gonna need to make our way upstairs. I'll check right here, because this is like one of the sneaky spots. You can inspect the painting, that's really fun. Um, 
So yeah, basically the best place to camp for trying to get up there is right here because sometimes he just doesn't come down this path. If he does, uh, you can either take vitamins and dip or use the um, cabinet. We are going to take our second vitamins. Uh, if you bought them with knobs, you'll have three. Another safe location you can chill is right here. He can never get you if you come here. Well, unless you make a sound, obviously. Then he'll come after you. But his basic pathfinding will never find you if you're right here. As you can see, he'll just... walk right by. I've actually never seen him get that close. That was weird. They might have updated it. Yeah, I've never seen him get that close. I think that's new pathfinding, but that's fine. Uh, it's still safe, as you just saw. That was actually insanely nerve-wracking for me. I thought I was about to die. Um, there's another book there. We need to grab that. Just keep in mind, every book you get, he'll get faster. So you want to get all the ones that are hardest first, because then he'll, he'll be slow during them. Grab that book. We're going to head back over here to be safe. Uh, as you can see, we've got seven numbers right now, or seven books. The primary issue is that uh, unlocking the lock will send him barreling towards your location. <laughs> also, there are always eight books, and you always have to collect all eight. Is he coming upstairs? He is not. Looking for that last book. There it is. Okay, so now that you've got all eight books, you're gonna wanna go back to your safe corner, pull out the note, which thankfully doesn't make any sound, and start deciphering it. As you can see, there are the five, uh, it says one, and then the pentagon, two, and then the triangle, etc. What you want to do to decipher this is type uh, the number on the bottom left that correlates with the uh, shape on your note. So first would be zero for me, then it would be four, then we would have nine, and then five, and then seven. So zero, four, nine, five, seven. That is our code. We we'll want to wait till he's very far away because making this makes a lot of, or making this, putting in the code makes a lot of noise. And uh, obviously we don't want him to come barreling towards us when he's like right there. <laughs> um. Because this safe spot is no longer safe once you start putting in the code. Because, you know, you're making sound. So you want to wait for him to get really far away and then try to put in the code as fast as possible. If you can't do it in time, find a locker and hide in it. You'll probably have to do the heartbeat minigame, but that's okay. Okay, we're going to put in the code. So, 0,4,9,5,7. Nine, you can hear him coming towards me. Another thing you need to know about the figure is that if you're playing with multiple players, when one player escapes, he will start barreling towards all the other players at max speed, and you can't outrun him. So if you're playing with multiple players, you need to make sure everyone is near the escape door. Alright, that's how you can beat the door 50 figure.